you ever start a job you think it's going to be quite easy and it turns out to be a right f shit well that's what we're doing today ford mondeo two litre diesel frigging glow plugs oh and before i start let me just point something out the exhaust gas recirculation valve will have to be removed without a doubt that means you're going to lose some coolant you'll be best removing the engine under tray and draining the coolant and you will need to remove your starter motor so first up you want to take your fuel pipes off this housing because this housing has got to come completely off so pull that tab up press the clip down and the fuel pipe will pull out two 10 mil nuts here and you can remove this cover out of the way there's three torx 30 screws hold another plastic piece of trim to this fuel filter housing you're going to have to remove this piece of plastic the nuts that hold the whole housing onto the engine block are behind this and then that should just pull off this whole fuel filter housing on the car is going to be a bit tricky so if you've got a magnetic 10 mil would be a help because you've got one nut under here and they're not the easiest of things to get to and through here you've got another nut at the top and a little bolt at the bottom which have both got to be removed and there's a 13 mil nut with a stud on it to the side of the housing you haven't got to take that out you only got to loosen it a little bit then the housing will come off your oil filler you can just unclip that and just push that out down to one side there will be a turbo pipe here on this uh, air intake which goes down to your intercooler you just pull that pipe off and just leave it hanging you've got three five mil allen key bolts here you just take all them three bolts out there's another two allen key bolts here and one on the other side if you take all them three out you're also going to have to remove your intake airflow sensor which is a five mil allen key as well just take that clean out of the way now you can grab this whole assembly and it will just pull out in your hand you know i'm not entirely sure but i think peugeot call this a dozer right a 13 mil nut get that out of the way there's another 13 mil underneath the manifold here and last but least a little 10 mil this whole plastic molding should just come clean out of the way now i didn't pull this fuel filter housing off because the plastic panel that was here was stopping it from coming off but now that plastic panel's gone the whole fuel filter housing assembly will come clean out of the way now so now our fuel filter housing assembly is out of the way we can see number one glow plug if i pull the wire off there it is yeah that's right but we can't see the other bloody three yet can we they're still buried behind the egr system i think the moral of the story is if it ain't broke leave them alone and now we've got all this water cooled egr system that we have to remove two five mil allen keys that's released our pipe going into our inlet manifold remove the vacuum pipe off your suction valve 21 mil nut here with a stud coming out of it which needs to be removed and you have a further two 10 mils get them out of the way there's another 10 mil holding your dipstick tube to the egr assembly you can just bend that slightly out of the way and then there's a 13 mil bolt if you don't fancy bending your dipstick tube too much there is a 10 mil at the bottom where it goes into the sump so you just pull the dipstick straight out of the sump and take that out of the way that stud over here that we took the 10 mil nut off if you've got an e6 bit you can actually undo that stud and you're going to need to to slide the whole egr assembly off pull that out there's a coolant hose connected to the bottom of the egr valve in all honesty It'd probably be a good idea to remove that hose if you can get a screwdriver into that hose a little bit and squirt a bit of freeing oil in there that will help it come off because the hose can tend to get stuck to the pipe and then they become a right pain to get off that's it i can tell you for now even if you bend this pipe up and try and wriggle it out it still won't want to come out so you've got your crankcase breather assembly here 313 mils and 110 mil so if you unbolt all them 
there's a pipe coming off this breather system. You press the yellow tab in and then it should pull out. So you pull your breather assembly out, remembering there's a pipe going into the engine, you'll have to pull out carefully so you don't break it. And then you can just lower your entire EGR off the engine. The metal gasket that fits between your EGR valve and the engine block is a crush fit, so you will have to replace it. If you don't, there's a good chance it will leak water. At this point, you're probably having kittens because that's an awful lot of crap to get out of the way just to get out a set of glow plugs. We can pull the wires off. You need a deep 8mm socket, put that over the glow plug, and then you can wind that out and remove it. You see by the colour of that glow plug, nice tanned colour, I'd say that's still working because normally when they're not working and they're dyed, that end would be totally black. If you take a multimeter and set it round to ohms, the one on this multimeter represents open circuit. So if I connect my test leads across the glow plug and it goes to zero, that means there's no resistance and we know this glow plug's good. Or if you want to be a bit more daring, we can connect our glow plug up to a battery. Well that works. <laughs> Obviously when it comes to refitting these plugs, you can hand screw them back in, but be careful when you tighten them up. They haven't got to be that tight. But seriously, if you're not sure about how much to tighten a glow plug, get somebody to do it who is sure, because you really don't want to strip the threads on a glow plug. You can find yourself in a whole world of shit. <laughs> Anyway, that's how you remove the glow plugs on a 2014 Ford Mondeo Mark IV 2 litre diesel. Not a very nice job. Mr Ford certainly knew how to bury them in the engine, didn't he? But I will say, I've never actually had to change a glow plug in one of these Peugeot 2 litre diesel engines. So, I reckon I've been pretty lucky. And if you've got to change a set of these glow plugs, all I can say is, bummer. <laughs> So if you fancy changing some glow plugs on your Mondeo 2 litre diesel, have fun. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs>